CS Imaging using the Patient Browser Recorded Class. This recorded class is designed for all team members. It provides instruction on using the Patient Browser in the CS Imaging software. By the end of this class, you should be able to navigate the Patient Browser, sort the patient list and patient history, work with a patient card, use the Dental Arch filter, print an image, and import and export objects. Navigate the Patient Browser. When the Patient Browser opens, search the patient name here, or click to select a name from the patient list. To launch CS Imaging, you can use the Launch CS Imaging button or double-click an image thumbnail in the patient history. The Patient Browser workspace contains Name of the selected patient Launch Imaging Software button Patient Card Image Management Tools Patient History Patient History Tools Patient List Patient Search Patient Management Tools Patient Count and refresh the patient list. Extra oral acquisition tools used to acquire images directly to the patient history. System icons, which include About, displays application information. Preferences, which include General preferences, Print preferences, and Service Preferences. In Service Preferences, select here to display or hide the patient list on Startup. Deselect this preference if your office would like the list hidden for patient privacy. The question mark icon launches online help. Sort the patient list and patient history. At the top of the patient list, the current sort filter is displayed. To change how the patient list is sorted, click the small triangle to change sort order from ascending to descending. To select a different filter, right-click on the current sort filter. The patient history displays thumbnails of all images for the selected patient. Using the patient history toolbar, you can view images as thumbnails, as a list, in date order, by image type, and using the Dental Arch filter. The Dental Arch filter allows you to view images by tooth number, dentition, and type. Work with a patient card. To create a patient card, click Create a patient card. The patient card window is displayed. Enter patient information in the patient card window. If you need to enter additional patient information, click Switch to Full Version. Note, first name, last name, and gender fields are mandatory. All other fields are optional. Shaded fields are completed automatically and cannot be edited. When you have finished entering data, click Create Patient. The Patient Card window closes and the new patient appears in the patient list. To add a picture to a patient card, click Switch to Full Version. The Patient Card window expands to display additional fields. Scroll to the top of the Patient Card window and click Change Picture. The Select Patient Photo window is displayed. Use the Select Patient Photo window to locate the picture file. Click the File drop-down list alongside the File Name field to select a different file type. When you have found the correct picture file, click to select it. Click Open. 
the selected picture file is added to the patient card. To modify a patient card, in the Patient Browser toolbar, click Modify Patient Card. The Patient Card window is displayed. Modify patient information in the Patient Card window as required. If you need to enter additional patient information, click Switch to Full Version. When you have finished entering data, click Save Changes. To delete a patient card, in the Simple or Full Version Modify Patient Card window, click Delete this patient. A warning is displayed. If you are sure you want to delete the selected patient card, click Delete. The selected patient and all associated images are deleted. Use the Dental Arch filter. When the patient history contains several images, you can use the Dental Arch filter to view only the images you are interested in. To open, select the Dental Arch filter in the Patient History toolbar. A light gray tooth indicates images are available. A dark gray tooth indicates no images are available. Select Available Teeth to filter one or more tooth numbers. Use the modality filter to show by acquisition type. The dentition icons are used to switch between adult and child dentition. You can select multiple filters to display a combination of desired images. To deselect, click on Selected Tooth or Modality Filter again. Print an image. To print images from the patient browser, select the images you want to print. You can select multiple images using Control Click or click and drag over a group of images. In the Patient History toolbar, click Print Images. Your image selection is loaded into the CS Film Composer software. Use the CS Film Composer functions to print your image. Note, the print icon is part of an icon group. If you cannot see this button in the Patient History toolbar, click the small white triangle on the Export Icon group to display all icons in the group. Import and Export Objects To import an image or file, in the Image Management Tools, click Import. The File Import dialog box is displayed. In the File Import dialog box, select the image you want to import and click OK. Make sure you select the correct file type for the file you want to import. The selected file is imported into the selected patient card and is displayed in patient history. To import a DICOM DIR file, click DICOM DIR Import. The Open dialog box is displayed. In the Open dialog box, select the DICOM DIR file you want to import and click Open. A DICOM DIR viewing window is displayed that displays the contents of the DICOM DIR file. The viewing window displays name of the patient card that you are importing images into, patient name in the DICOM DIR file, image thumbnails for the selected patient name, import button. Click on the patient name in the DICOM DIR file. Available image thumbnails are displayed. Click on an image thumbnail. Click the Import button. A warning message is displayed. Important! Be sure that you intend to associate the imported images with the current patient. If you are not sure, click Cancel. To continue the import, click OK. The selected image is imported into the patient card. To export images or files, in the patient history, select the images and or files you want to export. In the image management tools, click Export to Folder. The Export to Folder dialog box is displayed. 
If this button is not visible, look for it in the Export icon group. In the Export to Folder dialog box, select your Export Options and click Export. The selected images and files are exported. You can use drag and drop functionality from CS Imaging by clicking and dragging an image to a destination window and dropping the image by releasing your mouse button. You can use this to export images to a folder or to a Microsoft Office software application such as Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint. To export images using drag and drop, select the images you want to export. The selected thumbnails are displayed with a blue frame. Carefully click and drag your selection over the destination window and release the mouse button. The selected images are dropped into the destination window. Note, if you drag and drop an image to a folder, the image is exported as a JPEG file by default. To email images or files, first select the images and or files you want to email. In the Image Management Tools, click Email. The Export to Mail dialog box is displayed. In the Export to Mail dialog box, select your Export Options and click Export. A new email is created in your default email software. Use your email software to complete and send the new email. To export images as a DICOM DIR file, in the Patient History, select the images to export. In the Image Management Tools, click DICOM DIR Export. The DICOM DIR Export dialog box is displayed. In the DICOM DIR Export dialog box, select your Export Options and click Export. The selected images and files are exported. Note, you can only export DICOM images using this function. In the DICOM DIR export dialog box, the output folder must be empty before you attempt the export. Now you should be able to navigate the patient browser, sort the patient list and patient history, work with a patient card, use the dental arch filter, print an image, and import and export objects.